Hey, hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add confetti to your website to just celebrate or do whatever you want with it. I'm using this awesome library. You can find it if you search on NPM or click the link in the video below and you can go there. Super easy to add to your website or your web app. Here you can see they have um, yarn add and you can just install like that or there's a CDN URL that you can just use copy paste. You're good to go. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. I'm going to use CDN just to keep it simple. So I'm going to copy it. Um, I already have some HTML and CSS. Very basic. I'm going to go to my website. This is how it looks. It's just a button with some background. So what I'm going to do is when you click the button, then we can get like some kind of explosion of confetti, right? So let's go here. So to my HTML, I'm going to go before closing my body. I'm going to add that CDN and my own script. So let's go script and then source. This one is called script. Let me make let's make sure I have that file. So I'm going to go here and I have a JavaScript file totally empty it's right here. All right. So I'm just going to close that for now. And now that I have these two files, I'm going to save it and I can start adding some code to my JavaScript file. So I'm going to go there and a couple things before you start with this code right here you need to add some variables. So for example, we have a button and we need a canvas. So if you take a look here, you need a canvas that will actually draw that confetti for you. So I'm going to do const. Let's do the button first. So the button is equal to document uh, query selector. And we can do this by uh, there's an ID, so I can do button. Let's go back to HTML just to make sure that's what it is. Yep, that's what it is. And if you want to be a hundred percent sure, you can just console log that button. Oops. And go back to the site. We can just inspect console, and here's my button. Perfect. So that's working. I'm going to keep the console log open. We can use it later. So let's remove that. And now we're going to do a variable for the canvas. All right. I'm going to call it canvas. Kind of the same thing. We can get it by ID. So I'm going to do document query selector. I'll do let's make sure what is that ID of that canvas that I have. Oh, I don't even have a canvas in my, my HTML. So let's add that. You can just add a canvas. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to get, I'm going to add an ID so we can use it in the JavaScript. So let's call it confetti. You can call this whatever you want. It doesn't have to be confetti. It can be whatever you want. I'm going to copy go back here and there you go. So now we have those two variables very important. I'm going to go back to HTML, make sure you save because I added that canvas and I'm going to save it JavaScript. Now nothing is going to happen just yet. Let's go back to the documentation. We need to add some stuff here. So for example, another variable with the actual confetti. So I'm just going to copy go down here, paste it. All right. And now after you're done with this, now you can do whatever you want. So for example, I want to add a function that is on click. Something happens when I click the button, right? So I'm going to do button. This is coming from this variable. All right. Add event listener. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do it on a click. So I'm going to do click. Uh, not like click and what happens before that I'm going to do an arrow function here 
and uh, I'm going to do console log just to make sure this works. Clicked. Save it. Go back. I'm going to click my button and it says clicked. Perfect. That's working. So now what we can do here, I'm going to remove here the console log and I'm going to add the confetti function. So I'm going to go back to the documentation to make sure this is what we need. So you can see here, this is the function. Very simple. I'm going to add it right here and I'm going to save it. Let's see if that works. Go back to the website and I'm going to click. There we go. Confetti. Every time we click the button, that's a huge celebration right there. Happy New Year. <laughs> so a couple of things that you can do. This actually have the option to add emojis. It has option to change the colors, um, the confetti radius. Like there's a lot of options. It's not only that default one, right? So let's go ahead and add this emojis. Let's have some fun here. So what you have to do is here, you open this like an object and then put this and you can have emojis and then you can have more options, which we're going to play with some right now. Let's save it. Let's go back. Let's see if that works. And there we go. All those emojis. You can keep adding more emojis. It doesn't have to be those specifically, but um, all the emojis you want. Now, Something cool that I like about this, if I scroll a little bit down here, um, this is re this returns a promise, which after the animation is completed, we can run something else. So, for example, I can do here. I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to do this. So when the animation starts and then it ends, then you can do whatever you want. So for example, this one is just console in login this. Let's save it. Let's see if that works. All right, animation. And it ends and you can see confetti animation completed. So the cool thing is like you can do something else when it's completed. For example, I can literally run this function again, the confetti function. I can just put it right here. And it's supposed to run another confetti animation when the confetti animation is completed. Let's see if that works. Click. And boom, there you go. So that's interesting because when the animation is completed, maybe you can show a message like congratulations, or you can, I don't know, redirect the person, or maybe there's a pop-up. It can be whatever you want. You can get very creative with this. But this was very simple for something something very cool that you can add to your website. Hope you like it. Bye. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.